excited for you to go back and uh, play in front of your, your, your people. Oh, yeah, I'm very excited. You know, I got a lot of friends and family coming to watch because they can't get out often. And, uh, you know, to be able to play somewhere where I, you know, grew up 10 minutes away from, you know, it's, a, it's great to go back and just play where I uh, used to grow up at. Is it a chance or is it tough for you <coughs> to, to bottle all that excitement into where you're like, hey, I got to kind of calm down here. I got to make sure I stay focused and, and, and do the task at hand. Yeah, you know, it's definitely, it, it can get distracting at times, you know, um, but uh, I just got to, you know, forget about that and just focus on what's important at the moment, and that's just going down there and getting a road win to help our team get better. So, you know, as much as I'm excited about it, we got to go down there and we got business to handle. 117 miles apart, it, this seems a, just a, a natural rivalry, just a great frit. I mean, fit, it's, it's, it's becoming an intense battle between the Did two Did you schools. say frit? Frit. Frit is my first word I'm going to go is with. A good, it is a good frit. Frit or fit? Um, it, it's it's – a game that's you know been. Hold on, uh, did you stutter and say it's no. twice? <laughs> it's been a it's been a game that has been a huge tradition. You know, you, you go back in time, whether it was us being in the MCC with them, um, you know, the, the non-conference games that we had uh, prior to them joining the Atlantic Ten, and then ultimately the Big East. Uh, and, and again, when it, when you have these intense competitive games, games that have come down to a last-second shot, um, you know, awesome endings. You know, sometimes you're on the you've been on the short end, we've been on the short end of the stick a few of those it, it does make for a rivalry does it seem like that this team has a little bit of confidence going into Hinkle being eight winning eight of the last ten there does it seem like this team has a little confidence well this team ha hasn't really ever been to Hinkle Fieldhouse um, you know we we talk all the time in terms of this is uh, the 93rd team in Xavier's history you know we've got seven guys that never wore a Xavier uniform prior to this year so um, you know it's a young team those guys know what the experience is going to be like it's going to be if we're going to win, it's going to be because we have to be the tougher team down the stretch. We've got to get, be able to get loose balls, make our free throws, uh, not get pushed in the back, and, and uh, give up offensive rebounds, and that's what Bo Butler takes a lot of pride in doing. You always talk about your, the identity of this team. You want it to be defense, be tough. And, and of late, you guys are 8-0, holding opponents under 70. I mean, that has to be impressive in your mind that, you know, at times you guys are living up to what that identity that you want. We're getting there. Uh, we're not by any means a finished product. Uh, again, when you have – you know, youth, all it takes is one guy to break down defensively in the course of a possession. And if that happens, you know, whether he's supposed to be in help, whether he's supposed to guard the ball at the end of the shot clock, uh, it can ruin the defensive possession. And we're getting better at sustaining effort. Uh, again, we're still not perfect. We better be tomorrow with our effort uh, or we won't come back with a win. How important being on the road and being road tested? All 15 games you guys have led at halftime, but getting out of the gate, it seems like you guys have been starting fast a lot of the game. How important is that tomorrow, getting out of the gate and starting on the road fast? I think, I think, I think we'll be fine. You know, I think, um, you know, it's not really how you start the game. It's that, are you ready to play? You know, you can't control, uh, you know, sometimes the way the ball bounces, but you can control your effort. Uh, you can control being ready to play. And, and the trick for this team is we've got to be able to, to be ready to play coming out of both halves. A lot of roots on the team going back to Indiana, you know, with with coaches and players. How important is that for them to go back and, and, and make and make a statement for them? Well, it's not so much about making a statement. You know, our, our season is an, is really important to us. Uh, they're going to have a lot of family and friends in the stands, and it's always nice to to show out well when when that happens. Uh, but you know, it's it's not necessarily a personal deal. This is Xavier versus Butler. Uh, we've got to be ready to play. Five guys are close to double figures. I mean, that talk about unselfishness. I mean, offensively running your sets. I mean, that's got to be impressive to you as a coach, knowing that you know you have guys around teetering on five guys around double digits. We have talented uh, offensive players, but I think the reason that um, you know we've played so well is that we we do play together and we do share the ball. And I think that starts with our leadership. You know, Matt Stainbrook and D. Davis uh, care about making the right play. Uh, they're very intelligent players. They see the play developing, and because of that, um, that ability to share the ball. You know, we've been a hard team to guard uh, on that end of the floor.